Welcome to our show, an unseen man's voice echoes, setting the stage somewhere in a quaint theater tucked away in Melbourne, Australia. There's a quaint charm to this place, a sense of mystery that whispers tales of magic and charm. Enter Blake Fire, a stage magician with a flair for the dramatic, resplendent in a black tux and top hat. Beside him, Max Starfire, his assistant, equally dapper, but with a hint of mischief in his eyes. Together, they are a sight to behold, a duo that promises an evening of laughter, wonder, and unforgettable illusions. Their act begins with a hint of humor, Blake producing a fluffy white rabbit from his hat and handing it over to Max. The audience roars with laughter as Max, who seems to have an aversion to animals, promptly makes the rabbit disappear. The act continues, a dove here, a card trick there, each illusion more enchanting than the last. But beneath the laughter and applause, a darker reality lurks. Blake and Max are more than mere illusionists. They are sorcerers, their magic real and potent, hidden behind the veil of stage lights and smoke. And Blake, he has a secret. He is a grim reaper, his soul attuned to the scent of death. As the act reaches its crescendo, Blake's senses are assaulted by a scent he dreads. The smell of death, not the act itself, but the precursor, the scent of a soul ready to depart this world. Panic grips him. His soul yearns to collect the departing one, but he can't. Not here, not now, not with over a hundred eyes watching him. In the midst of this inner turmoil, Blake's struggle does not go unnoticed. Max, connected to Blake through their shared magic, senses his distress. Blake, are you all right? He asks, his voice echoing in Blake's head. Blake's response is filled with frustration, the pressure of suppressing his grim reaper soul nearly unbearable. I'm trying to, but this is not like holding on to go to the loo. When Mortimer comes out of me, I die, said Blake, frustrated in Max's head. The act must go on, but at what cost? The curtain falls, the audience applauds, oblivious to the drama unfolding behind the scenes. Blake has to go to the loo, whispered Max into the head of stage manager Dante Drac, a notorious stickler for details. But this wasn't any ordinary bathroom break. Blake was grappling with his grim reaper soul, struggling to keep it in check while he continued his performance on stage. With each passing moment, the scent of impending death grew stronger, a grim reminder of his dual existence. He reached out mentally to Dante, a fellow grim reaper. Someone in the audience is dying, he conveyed urgently. Dante, who was already aware of the situation, responded, I know, they had a heart attack. I'm out front with them now, attempting to keep them alive. But even as he said this, the sense of impending doom only intensified, a clear sign that his efforts were failing. Save them? You're doing a lousy job, Blake snapped back, his voice resonating in Dante's mind as he performed a card trick on stage. The tension was palpable, the audience unaware of the life and death struggle happening right before their eyes. Suddenly, Blake collapsed on stage, his body unable to contain the grim reaper within him any longer. Max sprinted to his side, his voice echoing through the theater, close the curtains. But Dante, ever the stickler for details, screamed back, no. In the ensuing chaos, another figure entered the scene, a grim reaper distinct from Blake or Dante. It was Lance, Blake's son. He calmly walked over to the dying audience member, his presence a chilling reminder of the inevitability of death. Blake's down, shouted a stagehand, running towards Dante, breaking the eerie silence that had fallen over the theater. Dante turned to Lance, questioning. Why didn't you take them yourself? You're a grim reaper too. Lance merely shrugged, his attention already moving on to the next soul needing his services. And so, in a small theatre in Melbourne, Australia, a magician's act was interrupted by a grim reaper's dilemma, a tale as old as time itself. The show, as they say, must go on. But for Blake and his fellow reapers, their duty never ends, even in the midst of a magic show, 